now that we've briefly gone over our WordPress starter theme files, let's get it ready for local development. So I have MAMP pointing to a directory on my local machine that has all the WordPress theme file or WordPress files installed. I'm going to drag my theme into the themes directory, which is WP content themes. And this is our underscores.me theme that I downloaded and named. So once we have it in there, let's go to our local environment. So I'm using MAP Plus, so I can set my URL, but yours is probably local colon and then whatever some numbers are. So from the dashboard, go to Appearance, Themes. You'll have the default themes that WordPress ships with. And you'll see whatever you named your theme here. Just hit Activate. It should be activated. So if you go to the front end of the site, reload, you'll see that the underscores.me basic theme is ready to go. So what I like to do to populate the blog and some pages is go to wptest.io you can read about it here if you want but it's pretty much an XML file of just a lot of filler posts and pages also includes some authors and a lot of stuff that you can use to test your theme so I've already downloaded it on my desktop here I want to unzip it and then once you open that, you'll see that there's this wptest.xml. So from the WordPress dashboard, you want to go to settings, no, tools, import, then WordPress, then choose your file. Mine's on the desktop. We're going to do this wptest, open, upload. So I want to import all these different authors, download and import all the file attachment that includes all the images, hit submit. And it's going to go out to wherever it needs to, and install all the images, and make all the posts and pages. So once you're done importing it, go to all your posts or post all posts and you can see that it created all these different posts should have some pages has some children under the pages if you go to users see that it created some users for you with images if you go to the front end of the site see that it created all these different posts with images, ordered list, unordered list, all kinds of great things so you can test your theme for all the different variations that your theme users are going to be using. So that's setting up the base theme. I'm getting ready for development. Now that we're ready to go, we can start integrating Bootstrap and getting our theme actually looking like a theme.